My name is Erin Allison, and today we're going to talk about how to make a simple and easy hydroponic system. For those of you that don't know, a hydroponic system is a way to grow plants without the need for traditional soil. So today we're going to make our own recycled version with a water bottle. First up, we're going to cut the water bottle about a half of the way down. Now we have our part that will hold the media and our part that will hold the water. Next, let's take our cap and puncture a small hole through it. This will allow for our wicking cord to come through the bottom of the vessel. Let's take about a 10 inch cord. Uh, it can be wicking cord that you buy on Amazon, but it can also be strings of tied together yarn. Anything you have around your house will work. Let's tie a knot about halfway through so that it stays in position in your system. You might have to use your scissors to get it to push through, um, but you can do it, I believe in you. All right, now we have our wick coming through our system. We're gonna add water to the bottom. For the water, it's really important that once we get our system established, that we're going to be changing that water every couple of days. This will make sure that the water stays aerated and keeps our plants healthy. So now that we've got the fundamentals of our system assembled, it's time to add in some soil. Well, it's not soil. It's a soilless media. And so it's important that when you're making this selection that you're not using dirt from your backyard because it doesn't provide the nutrients and support that this plant will need. So today I've got a soilless media mix that we're going to be using. And so when we add this into the system, let's make sure that the wick is completely circling the system so that it can absorb the water that it needs. Uh, when we think about the water in the bottom of the system, it's also important to remember that it should be changed frequently so that it stays aerated. Not only does the system provide water, but it also provides the air that the plants need to survive. Next, we're gonna select our plant. We're going to make sure that the roots are ready to be integrated and that when we introduce it into the system that the wick is completely surrounding the roots also. So today we've made a simple and easy recycled hydroponic system. For all of the little plant lovers in your life, this will be the perfect experiment. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.